We keep it wire brushed because the scale that comes off prevents you from seeing just how it's twisting. A little more right here. One more quarter. Tap the end over there. That's good. Good. Wire brush it good. That's how the twisting is done with a wrench, a vise, and hot iron. And now that that's been demonstrated, we'll go over to the layout table and assemble the rest of the gate over this way. All right. This is the moment we've been waiting for, working all week on making the parts for the gate. We're now about to assemble them on the drawing from which we've been working. Pete, you want to bring in the gate frame? <clears throat> there it is. <clears throat> In the heat of forging, the smith does not use a rule. He uses a layout stick which has been all carefully marked from the original drawing. And he can hook it on and read the marks that are on there much more accurately than trying to measure with a rule with hot iron that'll burn the rule up. Now that the main frame is here, we'll proceed to assemble the parts. This is being done to show you on a full-size drawing how the pieces go together. Next, the centerpiece. Yep, just turn it on the diamond. The bottom section. One of the fleur de lis. Other fleur de lis. That's being uh, tinned. Now. All right. This is the memorial panel. This, the lock will go on the back with a slide bolt, with a slide bolt that goes into the wall. That will be on the back side, and then the plate will come on top of it. The hinges will be riveted onto the frame in that position. That's the complete set of parts and the sequence and the way in which they go together. I am Marion Yellen. 
I am now president of Samuel Yellen Metal Workers following the death of my husband last summer. I'm trying to carry on the tradition that was set up by Samuel Yellen back in 1906 when he first started the Samuel Yellen Metal Workers. Uh, my husband was uh, president of Samuel Yellen Metal Workers for 40 years and next year my daughter will be returning to help me. And so it will be three generations of Yellens carrying on the Yellen metalworking tradition. I'm in his room, which he called, Samuel Yellen called this my room. And I want you to look at the beautiful tapestry, a Mort Lake, an English tapestry of the 16th century. It relates to Vulcan at the forge. And uh, also in front of the tapestry is a statue of St. Eloy. St. Eloy is the patron saint of blacksmiths. He protected them, he guided them, and he helped them. He was very important to blacksmiths. Also, we have here a model of a room that uh, Samuel Yellen hoped would be in the art museum in Philadelphia. It never came about, but it did uh, involve three of his dreams and wishes. One of his dreams was to have a place where you could, he could have a museum and show his antique collection of iron pieces. The second part of the dream was to have a working forge where people could see and watch people manufacturing, fabricating iron and metal working jobs. And then third, and probably the most important, was his having a school where tr apprentices would be trained in the metal working field. And now, today, we are having a workshop here at Samuel Yellen Metalworkers with uh, 12 blacksmiths from all over the United States producing a beautiful gate which will go on the outside of our shop. And this is the tradition that we are carrying on here at Samuel Yellen Metalworkers and in fine, beautiful ironwork. We have a, here a picture. And this is a picture of a gate party. Whenever an object was finished at the shop, the, all the men would stand in front of it, and then they would go off to a room and have a wonderful, fun party. And in this picture, there's a man who means a great deal to Mr. Lou Bacanero, who's standing beside me. And Mr. Bacanero is the shop manager. Lou, would you tell about this picture? Yes, I will, Mrs. Yellen. Thank you. Uh, this is a picture of my dad. He was also Lou Bacanero. And uh, he worked for Samuel Yellen and Harvey Yellen for over 45 years. Uh, my association has been all with Harvey Yellen for the last 28 years. Uh, we have done many interesting projects with the, uh, the years that I've been here. And uh, some of our more recent projects are uh, a the restoration of the Wilmington train station in Wilmington, Delaware, where we did uh, many bronze rails and aluminum brackets. Uh, also, the, uh, the restoration of 30th Street Station here in Philadelphia uh, was another one of our interesting projects where we did a lot of work in bronze and aluminum. We are presently working uh, on a project in Mendham, New Jersey, a beautiful uh, staircase uh, at a private home uh, in Mendham. And uh, at the same time, we are working on a project in Brooklyn, New York, with the restoration of the Brooklyn Borough Hall. Uh, the point I would like to put across is all of this would have not been possible had it not been for Harvey Ellen carrying on the tradition of Samuel Yellen. And uh, today, we are alive and well and bidding on many, many new jobs that have come to us uh, throughout the United States. Uh, I must stress that, that we don't only work in iron. We have diversified and done many, many projects in brass, aluminum, and stainless steel.